We now have Mr. Atul Manohar, Director Informatica for this evening, who is striking with his unprecedented knowledge and charismatic initiatives, termed as the most emerging and sought after design strategies in India, had designed products and mentored and managed design teams in his 20 years of work experience. He is a believer in involving users through the design process to create delightful products that claim success in the market. He likes experimenting with innovation tools and practice design thinking in order to deliver higher value to the customers. Today's design solutions would be more of a system solution rather than a standalone product. Atul, with his wide experience across design fields, can bring key value on the table. He has organized and conducted various innovative design workshops, UX trainings and was part of various conferences. He is currently the director, user experience of Informatica and has worked previously with Mahindra Satyam, Genesis Designs, Colorfly Designs and so on. Can we now call upon Mr. Atul Manohar, the first speaker, to say a few words. Uh, it's, it's a bit embarrassing when uh, people tell a lot of stories about yourself in front of an elite audience like this one. Uh, interestingly, I've got uh, old technology and new technology as well. <laughs> anyway, I'll be talking about a bit of technology. But I think before that, let me start with a little bit of a story. Uh, last weekend, I was with my uh, sister's uh, family, and my sister has a young, beautiful daughter called Isha. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, so my sister was actually signing a check. Hello? Sister was signing a check, and uh, Isha saw that, and Isha said, hey, uh, I mean, why do you need to write your name on the check? So my sister kind of told her the story of the sign, how it is important, and stuff like that. So Isha quickly picked up a paper and a pen, and she wrote her own name in that typical seven-year-old accent. And uh, in the beginning and in the end of the name, she had added two stars. That was pretty cute. That was very uh, wonderful. And then I, I was really inquisitive. Uh, interestingly, have you seen any kids sign for themselves? Seven-year-olds, five-year-olds who, who could just write? Uh, I've seen this number of times. Most of the kids pick up things like star being in front of or prefix or a postfix. Uh, to make their name a signature. And uh, then I, I, I asked her a question, hey, why did you add the star? Uh, obviously, it comes out of the, the school culture wherein she gets three stars, two stars, and stuff like that. But those stars have gone into our, uh, our heads a bit too much, I believe. <laughs> so uh, that little star is no more the twinkling star on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the sky. It is slightly more. It means a little more. It probably means everything for a little kid who is getting that star on their wrist or maybe on their homework. So the way uh, Isha was trying to portray her image was, yeah, star, because I get all the stars in my homework, you know, and stuff like that. She had some kind of an analogy. So effectively, at the age of six, seven, or eight itself, people are trying to understand that, OK, this sign means me. So that's a wonderful association. So my sign would mean some bit of character of mine is a beautiful feeling that kids get at the age of five, six, seven. That's really wonderful. I was wondering when I was five-year-old, six, six-year-old, uh, my thinking was not as matured, not like this at least. It was way different. So that time I started thinking of, OK, so uh, uh, brand, what does, the, what does the brand mean? For a kid, for this Isha, those little stars added to her name uh, meant a lot. And she said, this is my identity and stuff like that. Uh, personalities definitely have brands. I have seen a couple of people having their own brand. I have met up with a designer, very senior designer from Netherlands. He was here last month. And he was telling us the story of Netherlands. It's a beautiful country wherein he was the third generation designer in that family. So his grandfather was a designer. He was a product designer. And he's of my age. So imagine design has that kind of a uh, reputation, design as a word, design as a profession is so mature in a couple of countries. Unfortunately, when I started my design career about 20 years back, I remember going to a couple of manufacturing setups saying that, hey, you guys need design, you know, then uh, uh, and, and so on. So the story is uh, slightly different in India for sure. So effectively, people need 
some kind of a recognition. They need a symbol. They need to say that, hey, my name is Abdul and uh, my, my font is like this and stuff like that. So effectively, if you look at what do you mean by a brand, I believe there are two sides of the brand. One is the content itself, which means the big story of my business, wannabe business, existing business, or so on. And the second part definitely is the communication. How do I communicate my brand? How do I communicate my value to everybody? So it could probably be uh, my value, it could be a service, quality of my service, quality of my products, and so on. But actually there are two aspects from the technology perspective, there are two aspects of a brand. One is the real content itself, and the second part is how it is communicated. Does it make sense? So I'm a big believer of um, history to be looked upon, not from the political angle. History actually, for, for everybody in this room, you should write a couple of books. I don't know whether there is a book, History of Technology in the Mankind. So imagine in the prehistoric uh, uh, era, uh, interestingly, history of technology and history of industry would be kind of interwoven. It cannot be separated uh, completely. So look at, look at let's try and uh, take a very quick dip into the history of technology itself. So initially, uh, maybe Neanderthal or whatever they called, so prehistoric age, uh, humans were, were just struggling, right? They were just hunting, they discovered farming, and that's about it. They wanted to do everything for their survival. So from the, that era, I'll jump directly to a stage into the history, which is, I'll say, industrialization. So everything in between for me is just one era. Just, just kidding. But anyway, so in between what was happening, uh, interestingly, was um, you, human beings were trying to be much smarter than the rest of the species of the animals. They picked up some stuff from the nature, and they started using those tools to kind of simplify their life, you know? So somebody made a life, somebody made some kind of a hammer, maybe uh, some kind of vessels and stuff like that. So all these tools were kind of aids to do some stuff in my life for cooking, for cutting or whatever. So industrialization probably changed, I, I mean, this is my version of history. I can take uh, any jumps into the history. So industrialization probably changed the whole history in a very drastic way. Industries came up as big entities. Of course, before that there were industries, but it was slightly different. Uh, with the industrialization, if I believe before that all the products were designed maybe only for the kings and gurus and stuff like that, probably. So with the industrialization, the moment a, a glass could be made maybe in thousands, maybe in lakhs, then I need to sell it to everybody, right? I can't make it only for the for the king and that's about it. So that's precisely where probably Okay, all the invention, all the innovation went in, all the entrepreneurs moved into that, everybody having that business mind moved in, and they came up with huge factories with huge setups of uh, infrastructure, which could produce products. More and more products in the market, uh, one person manufacturing glass, 10 more companies manufacturing glasses. It was very difficult, you know, to say that which one is better and stuff like that. That's probably where, I don't know, I'm just thinking aloud. That's probably where uh, one of the companies started branding their product as mine, you know. So in the glass mold itself, I'll kind of emboss my logo or something like that. It's just a mark of my company. If the company is Atul, they'll say, hey, that, that's about it. So initially, probably the whole concept of branding started somewhere there. Maybe before that, I'm just trying to analyze the whole thing in, a, in my own way for that matter. Slightly move, move ahead a little. Um, set players, right? I bought one long time back. I bought one which had... Fascinating features like I could record a TV program when I am not at home. So for the younger generation, it will sound so what? I mean, it's very easy, right? But uh, I did my graduation, I did my master's degree from IIT, and I took about three days to figure out how the hell to <laughs> record that program. It was very, very difficult. So from that engineering era, slightly, we are moving into an era wherein design starts mattering, you know? So that's precisely where, okay, designers are also important. That's also another uh, profession. They are not inventing things, but they are making things work in a slightly better way, probably. You know? So that as a profession is coming in slowly. Look at that. So industry is it's kind of evolving in a particular way. Professions are evolving in, in a very different direction. Let's see how the, uh, how the brands are evolving. So effectively, what I'll say is initially, it probably started with putting my name or company name onto the product, just paste a sticker or emboss it or stuff like that. That probably was the, was the very early on thought of the brand. Slowly it became slightly more, hey, how about printing a brochure of my information brochure of my product and so on. Uh, just look at it technologically. So technology also is, is kind of evolving, right? 
So most of the uh, innovative people, most of the uh, talented people in the industry definitely sit on to the, onto the other side of the future cutting edge technology. So when radio moves in, when TV moves in, I'm sure the branding styles evolve. It could be audio, it could be video, it could be multimedia. The, the media of the communication itself is very different. Uh, I'm sure I distinctly remember seeing a couple of crazy stunts like, I don't know, they, 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 they are probably tried in, uh, in today's world as well. Uh, one of these Saas and Bahu serials, imagine they are intentionally using dresses from a particular brand and so on. You know? so, so that's the way very innovative solutions are coming in wherein the innovators are actually sitting on that wave of the technology. They are actually going one step ahead and say, hey, how about this, how about this. So technology has been consumed, latest technology has been always consumed by most of the creative people, the most creative people in the world. Frankly, the first industry that consumes the technology at the first, the way to pay anything for that is entertainment and the second is advertising. Amazing, right? And slowly catching up this kind of design, unfortunately. So anyway, that's how it is. So on the technology path, that's how the, the brand is slowly moving in. Now that we are in an era wherein uh, internet must be about 25 to 30 years old, nothing more than that, right? So all the history that I talked about earlier, so many hundreds and thousands of years versus last 20, 25 years, 30 years at the most, is way different. So internet came in with a very big bang saying that, okay, this is very different, right? I'm, I've got information, I've got free information for you. You just need bandwidth, you just need to connect with me and you can access pretty much anything. So in the internet era itself, imagine the website or a portal concept itself is maturing and last around 15-20 years. Earlier website used to be like an interactive brochure to be very specific, right? So brochure has a very linear way of opening the book 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, website will be like interactive. I can directly jump onto the product page. I can directly see the photos and stuff like that. So from that interactivity, now the, the, the whole internet is maturing a lot. Slowly, from that little bit of interactivity, now that there is a lot of content that is contributed by the users. Users could contribute, you know. So instead of printing a book, Wikipedia says that, by the way, I am completely up to date. There is no book in the world that can be as up to date as that. Because the content is delivered by, I don't know, thousands and millions of people in the world. And for what? Do they get paid? Do you think Wikipedia pays for them? Obviously not. So that's the beauty. The contributors are contributing their opinions, their knowledge, their thoughts, free of cost. The portals are delivering all the content virtually free of cost. That is a beautiful revolution. And obviously branding, all the companies definitely jumped onto that brand wagon. I, I remember 15 years back, if I tell a customer, hey, by the way, where is your company website? They'll say, why do I need a website? You know, come on. So whereas uh, about five years back or seven years back, if I'll, if I'll ask that question to any of the business owners, hey, do you have a website? They'll obviously say yes, but I'll say, are you on any of the social media sites? A Facebook, why, why should a business be on a Facebook? You know? Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a different attitude altogether. But now, most of the businesses definitely want, want their space onto the onto the social media. They want to be on on the leisure side of the social media or the serious side of the social media or whatever. Anyway, intentionally, I thought in this particular 20 minutes or whatever I get, I'll keep away from spelling out brands. Let's play a little game. The next time I speak up a brand like Facebook, please raise raise your hand. I lose one point. Make sense? I don't want to talk about one brand as such. Uh, okay, so the medium of delivery itself is maturing to a very great extent. And uh, uh, more than the contribution, actually look at that. The technology again is advancing, right? Technology is not ending at that. So now that people are into an era wherein they are talking about slightly different kind of things. Uh, they are talking about IoT, IOE. Have you heard of these terms? Internet of everything. So everything is almost everything. Come on. All they are talking about connected cars, connected toilets. Uh, I'm sure you would have seen some posts of connected uh, toilets as well, right? So these are very intelligent toilets wherein which will give you health results and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, very interesting. So looking at all the products itself in an altogether different way is, is what technology is definitely giving us now. So right now, I can't very clearly say that, by the way, I have a product. So quite a few, how many uh, uh, startup uh, owners over here, people working for startups? Okay, wonderful. So I'm sure all of you, there are quite a few, 20, 25. So all these people, uh, 
can you say that by the way my product is this cover you know and that's it i make this cover and sell it so not anymore the products are matured the products are very different now i i met up with quite a few interesting people around uh, while having some tea and they told me about a very different model uh, actually couple of months back in bangalore the latest things i believe are last less months uh, i am seeing a lot of apps those are helping me make more lazy actually the amount of mad traffic in bangalore has given rise to i don't know what amount of innovation in bangalore so i can actually order food from the uh, from the phone right that is very easy my son could do it right so but then we got very have one uh, app from one hotel i could order everything from their menu i was happy or not and stuff like that now that there are services which are actually not owned by any of the hotels these services are only delivery mechanisms it's happening everywhere it's happening in grocery it's happening in uh, hotel i'm sure it will happen in uh, there are a couple of boards now uh, it's definitely happening in healthcare it will happen almost everywhere so that that is well and probably there are quite a few books i have seen recently are not published in in reality there is no physical book it's always a e copy so the delivery mechanisms are kind of adopting that's about it nothing is changing in reality so the technology is trying to mimic the reality of the life and in this whole technology uh, journey let's let's kind of talk about a couple of um, so so now now we are here right so from the stone age to we ran through all that history and now that we are here um so are there any uh, are there any trends of technology all of you should kind of know i believe yes i i kind of listed a, a few there are about five six trends of technology everybody should know if at all you are taking any decision in terms of design in terms of services in terms of your products in terms of branding anything about your business right so all these are so coherently single now that i cannot separate my brand from my product my brand from my service or my brand from my company wonderful they are they are currently almost the same so if technology is giving you so much let's definitely know what the latest technology has in place right i have listed about 10 15 items for example the internet is maturing uh, information technology at large is is a is a combination of two words information and technology unfortunately till about last 10 years uh, in india it was seen more from the technology side only now that the first part the information part i believe is what catching up all the uh, all the startups uh, over here i'm sure are not the later part they are they are actually addressing the part of the first part you know so they are trying to sell information they are trying to use the power of the information with the help of the current technology i think a couple of uh, trends we should definitely know is uh, from desktop to mobile so internet made a lot of change in in our lives but now that internet for accessing my internet i don't have to go home and open my laptop and wait till it boots and stuff like that it is all there on my on my handset so the number of people who are actually accessing internet on the mobile i don't know must be at least two times of the real uh, of the computers and so on the next trend i'm sure is uh, i'm capturing it as from transactions to interactions the beautiful example actually is the car example i give you there in most of the car manufacturing companies do a lot of data you know of their own of all the transactions in their the sap systems and whatever they have all that data into their pocket definitely that sitting on that data unfortunately uh, i have seen quite a few companies can't even make use of data and make some business decisions but anyway most of the companies are at least over there but actually that's not it right so i don't always make a call and register my complain into your system into your sap system right very rarely it goes into there whereas the easiest way is i'll open i pick up my phone and i'll tweet sorry one more down so i'll probably to okay. <laughs> so i'll 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 probably push some bad message on the on the social media and stuff like that right uh, I, i i i think interesting i mean from the so from the transactions to the interactions so all interactions with my friends i am telling my friend that hey which scooter did you buy for your son and stuff like that so is that data captured leveraged and acted upon by most of the manufacturers i don't know probably yes most of them are but are they able to kind of mash that data of the interactions and the transactions together to make some kind of business sense i think that's one very important technology trend uh, we are definitely seeing almost every company is trying to do that mashing up all the data together making some business sense and taking some business decisions at large 
um, the next one is the from website to social i used to have a website of my company now that more importantly my presence on the social is probably more powerful than my website itself right because most of you are actually more on the social media rather than my own website and searching and stuff like that so all these trends are actually giving one very important trend which is from searching to getting all the relevant information upfront to me you know on my mobile or my device or i don't know how and the internet of things or internet of everything um the the big data and analytics is one more trend i am sure everybody should keep in mind whether you are i mean your big data could be anything so for example this little device that i am wearing which keeps on measuring my every food step i take you know so for that matter that's a little data for me but when it comes to i don't know a million people in india imagine everybody using a pedometer how many of you have a pedometer here wearing one so look at that almost 10% of us so maybe going forward there'll be more and imagine the pedometer keeps on pushing in information like okay the beauty of the wearables the beauty of the new technology is the technology is aware of who's the user you know the technology knows that i am atul i have a facebook account i'm sorry one down so i have all this social media this is what i am and stuff like that the technology is aware of the location where i am right the technology is aware of a lot of transactions as well interestingly a lot of companies struggled very hard to kind of mash the transactions and interactions data right because they 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 they, they lied into different places whereas actually the mobile gun and the amount of information we are pushing to i don't know i'm not going to say that that big guy in the uh, uh, in in the back of my mobile is like immense it keeps on recording where i'm going it keeps on recording what i buy and unknowingly i get a very clear indication that hey a little card appears on my mobile saying that by the way you bought this and it has been delivered i mean come on they're just connecting too many dots and the beauty of the technology is it's very cheap it's almost free. it's just a matter of investing appropriately and uh, using that sense of awareness that using that sense of awareness is taken to another level wherein the most of the equipment in our house would probably intelligent right so what if a refrigerator in my house automatically sends out an email or whatever to the nearing nearby shop saying that hey by the way this particular refrigerator is starving i need more cheese or i need more milk and stuff like that the time is now probably another 2 years another 3 years we'll start seeing all these devices now itself i can anyway start my microwave oven from my office by the time i am home i can i can eat my stuff but now that that's that, that just next stage so i effectively these are the little trends i definitely talked about i just repeat them one by one it makes a lot of sense if at all you are thinking of taking any design decision any branding decision or any decision uh, regarding your company these are the little technology trends i believe you should keep in mind one was internet is maturing it's not the same old internet that we started 20 years back uh, from the desktop to mobile now that i could even extend that to uh, from on premise to cloud so frankly uh, most of these cap companies are nothing but cloud services so what is happening in the technology domain is actually replicated over here and the, the real life business is actually actually doing exactly the same as the cloud guys you know so all these big guys will have use data centers wherein you could host your applications wherein i don't have to invest into the infrastructure that's precisely why what the cab guys are doing they'll probably invest into the cabs and the the services are bought and quite a few companies don't even have their own infrastructure right so couple of companies don't even have their own cabs and so on so these kind of technology trends i'm sure you should keep in mind from web to social um there is one more thing i missed i call it gamification have you all heard of this word called gamification so all the serious business applications if at all i say okay how about making a game of my banking application right now it will sound a little crazy you know but that doesn't mean you should play a game over there you know so the moment i engage my customers in a game like interface doing a very serious business application that's a game so we are into uh, i work for a company called informatica we are into enterprise applications so most of the uh, fortune 500 companies <laughs> you got me so most of the fortune 500 companies end up uh, using our products for crunching data and stuff like that um, 
so we tried a very interesting experiment of all these are products which are used by kind of technology people who are sitting in the it departments of most of the customers and how about gamifying our serious business applications imagine somebody sitting on a server room wherein he is controlling almost pretty much the whole infrastructure of your company spread across the globe and i'm not asking him to play a game but i'm just asking that okay how about making his life very easy you know so instead of saying that uh, by the way this particular server is down instead of that why don't you change the change change the image change the font change at least the message and pop up a little samurai warrior saying that hey there is something wrong and some little things will definitely help it could go a long way actually interestingly most of the design teams have started engaging game designers into their serious business design applications and that's one more very definite def definite trend i believe most of the entrepreneurs should kind of know so people are entertained they are more happy if i tell you more stories i'm sure i can pull on for around the 24 minutes don't worry i will not so effectively that's the whole uh, idea technology is anyway flowing the way it is and we have to take our own decisions we have to keep these technology trends in the mind and probably take our own appropriate actions the business is also how, how am i doing on the time i'm really sorry i'm, I'm very bad at keeping time 5 minutes okay so uh, one last story um, there, uh, i met up with a couple of startup uh, companies last last to last week uh, they are old companies now i mean by the standards of typical it startup companies so this little bit uh, i am i am wearing a kind of a wearable computer i'll say it keeps on uh, only measuring the number of steps i take right so this information imagine a kind of a ethology a kind of a uh, system wherein everything is connected imagine this now that most of like that so this is kind of connected to my hospital the hospitals are kind of connected to the traffic uh, uh, areas the traffic is kind of connected to most of the doctors the doctors are kind of connected to my family my family is connected to my my kids my kids are connected to my school the school teachers uh, i mean just imagine i'm just trying to pull on that whole net of one little device helping a lot so this whole structure if at all i'll make some kind of a mind map of the connectivity and what we can do with this little device the uh, internet enabled device i'm sure there could be another 20 or 30 startups over here right there are there are that almost four or five i, I already know of wherein based on my heart rate heart rate and whatever a little data it will send a couple of signals to appropriate agencies it might time for some discussions and questions yeah. oh, sure so thanks a lot i believe i did good on the time <laughs> okay